Live from Hazard, Kentucky, this is Jammin' John's Wrestling News. Here's your news for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. During today's third quarter financial report, WWE made the following statement regarding Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia. The WWE said, WWE has operated in the Middle East for nearly 20 years and has developed a sizable and dedicated fan base. Considering the heinous crime committed at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey, the company faced a very difficult decision as it relates to its event schedule for November 2nd in Riyadh. Similar to other U.S.-based companies who plan to continue operations in Saudi Arabia, the company has decided to uphold its contractual obligations to the General Sports Authority and stage the event. Full-year 2018 guidance is predicated on the staging of the Riyadh event as scheduled. Also, here are a few highlights from today's WWE third quarter conference call, courtesy of Chris Harrington, Hill by Nature, and Wrestle Votes. Chris Harrington tweeted, Vince McMahon asked about Saudi Arabia decision by Brandon Ross, BTIG. Vince said, We're not going to talk a lot about it. It's a very sensitive subject. I think our statement says all we're going to say about that today. Also, Chris Harrington tweeted, Vince takes a question about live events. He insists they're going to reimagine live events very soon and expects to see a big turnaround in short order. He says they know how to fix that. Hill by Nature tweeted, George Barrios confirms that WWE Network tired pricing is a 2019 event. Hill by Nature also tweeted, WWE co-president Michelle Wilson says Evolution will be in front of a sold-out crowd. And WrestleVotes tweeted, another WWE Q-free call highlight, every offering on the WWE Network has been viewed by at least one subscriber. And with more on the WWE in Saudi Arabia, a representative for WWE issued the following response regarding rumors that John Cena and Daniel Bryan do not want to work the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia. The representative for WWE said, As always, we maintain an open line of communication with our performers and will address each situation accordingly. There have been no further comments from anyone representing WWE, John Cena, or Daniel Bryan. According to ProWrestlingSheet.com, Sources have confirmed that Daniel Bryan has in fact told WWE management that he doesn't want to work the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia. Also, Robbie Fox of Barstool Sports, who first reported the story about John Cena and Daniel Bryan refusing to work the WWE Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia, is now claiming that John Cena is 100% off the show. Robbie Fox tweeted, Absolutely shocked. To bookend this whole saga, the WWE has made the decision to keep Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia. Very interested to see how this plays out. Robbie Fox also tweeted, Still awaiting confirmation on Brian, but John Cena is still 100% off the show. As reported by John Pollock, the WWE were hopeful they come to terms with Cena, but there's been zero change on John's end. Also, ESPN's Dan Lee Batard called out WWE over the company's decision to move forward with the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia. Dan Lee Batard said, Did you see that WWE is still going to Saudi Arabia? What a bad decision that is. But it's the sewer and the sewer is going to behave like the sewer. There's a lot of money in Saudi Arabia. So much money. So wrestling is going back to Saudi Arabia as we wonder whether Saudi Arabia kills journalists with bone saws. It's not a hard statement to make. They're usually not this overt about we'll take your money even though you're being investigated for killing a journalist with a bone saw. We're usually not quite that overt like, yeah, we'll take your money, your blood money, no matter what. Thanks to Fightful.com for the quote. Also, Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks sent out a tweet that was seemingly in response to the news about WWE moving forward with the Crown Jewel event as scheduled. Jackson stated, money ain't everything. And Ty Dillinger responded to Jackson's tweet by stating, word. Jackson has since deleted that tweet. Speaking of Matt Jackson, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks have been teasing a run with WWE on social media. Here are a few messages which have gotten fans speculating. It first started when Cam Dolph the Grey tweeted to Cody Rhodes, If you could have any wrestler from any promotion join Bullet Club right now, who would it be? Cody Rhodes responded back by saying, The Bullet Club is all Jay's thing now. Love being a part of it. Met some good folks. And Justin tweeted to the Young Bucks, Dream match with you guys against any team, past or present, that you'd love to step into the squared circle with. The Young Bucks tweeted back, 
Bucks versus Usos or Elite versus New Day. And also the Young Bucks tweeted a photo of themselves with Kevin Owens and Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Dave Meltzer of 4FWOnline.com is reporting that Bobby Lashley is currently dealing with a painful separated shoulder injury. It's unknown if Lashley is losing on Raw during the midst of a push had anything to do with the injury. In an interview with Maria Mementos, Sasha Banks explained her recent WWE hiatus by revealing that she was diagnosed with post-concussion symptoms and was told to get rest. Sasha said she was concerned about missing the Evolution pay-per-view, but said that she now feels back to normal. Sasha Banks said, I was having head pain and I couldn't function. I couldn't drive and I couldn't sleep and I was like, I need to go get checked out. Also in that same interview with Maria Mementos, Sasha Banks talked about a reaction to the news that Roman Reigns has leukemia. Sasha Banks said, I didn't know and I don't want to cry because he's so, he's very special and I'm still shaking from that news. I remember getting ready for my match and walking backstage and everyone just stopped and was watching some kind of screen of any sort that they could see. And I'm like, what's going on? What What did he just tell us? Everyone found out with that promo. The whole world. No one backstage knew. I ran to the gorilla position like, because I'm like, he is the strongest, most amazing man I've ever met. He's taught me so much since I've been on Raw. Just to see the outreach on Twitter, too, of people just wishing him well, knowing that people are going to pray for him. I know he is going to get through this because he is so strong. To know he has been battling with this and didn't tell a soul, and he is legit. He is a leader. He is everyone. Everyone looks up to him. There's no bad words that anybody can say about him because he is the hardest working person I've ever met, and I wish him all the best. And I know he's going to overcome this. Thanks to ringsidenews.com for the quotes. Based on spoilers from the NXT UK TV tapings, it was believed that newly crowned NXT UK Women's Champion Rhea Ripley would defend her title against Isla Dawn at WWE Evolution. However, WWE fell behind on schedule with airing NXT UK episodes, and Ripley's victory hasn't aired yet as a result. The match has not been promoted on any WWE broadcast and is currently not listed on WWE's website as being part of the card. While the WWE Evolution pay-per-view is being reported as sold out, ticket scalpers have been looking to unload tickets on third-party websites. On StubHub, there are numerous tickets for as low as $15, including fees, available. And finally, here on Jam and John's Wrestling News, Chris Jericho announced that his heavily promoted cruise for this weekend has officially sold out. Jericho noted the following on Twitter, It's official. Jericho Cruise is sold out. And you can hear the origin of the rock and wrestling rocker on Talk is Jericho Now. Tommy Dreamer reacted to the news with the following tweet on Twitter. First and foremost, he posted a photo of himself and Jericho next to the pool. This was from a couple years ago, I'd say... 2003, 2002 is when Jericho had his beard and it looks like Chris Jericho is pissing on Tommy Dreamer as Tommy Dreamer's in the pool. It's a really hilarious photo. Underneath the photo, Tommy Dreamer tweeted, Congrats Jericho on selling out his cruise. The real reason I don't vacation with him anymore. Photo credit Test laughing his giant jobber head off. I miss Test. He was an awesome guy. Big congratulations out to Jericho for selling out the cruise. That's going to be incredible. That is your news for Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Check back here tomorrow for another Jam and John's Wrestling News Flash Briefing on Amazon Alexa devices. Big shout out to everybody listening to this on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stewie Family is the name. Follow me on Twitter at John Caldwell, J-O-N-C-O-L-W-E-L-L. Follow me on Instagram, the Jam and John. If you'd like to sponsor Jam and John's Wrestling News or your wrestling promotion wanting to get your next big event out for the awesome power of Amazon Alexa, you can email me, jzcallwell at gmail.com. That's J-Z-C-O-L-W-E-L-L at gmail.com. Big shout out to Ryan Hurdle and Tony Nelson for subscribing to my Patreon. You too can subscribe to me by going to patreon.com slash jamandjohn. I have free packages on there ranging from 3 to $7. Not a whole lot of money. I would really appreciate it if you supported me a little bit financially. Once again, that's patreon.com slash John. This is Jamin' John saying thanks, goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow.